This is the result for the M4. Do note that this is almost double the amount of time, the M4 Pro. And this is part of the reason why if you're going to buy a computer of this generation, I recommend getting the Pro SoC because if you do this day in day out, you're going to save a lot of time. And essentially for Pro workflow, time is money. When we take a look at the other desktop in the lineup, M2 Ultra still comes up at the very top. And when I add the result for the M4 Max, 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro, and this may be another story, but that's going to be for a video that I will release tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel for that. Now, interestingly enough, the M2 and M1 are really just trailing behind. And M1, when at one point during M3 generation, it was still okay, it was still holding its own just fine. An M4 generation and the new operating system, well, it's still doing okay, but it's not that good anymore. And there are certain tasks that it can't finish, and you're going to find that out soon. What's also interesting is that the M4 is beating out the M2 Pro by just a small margin there. Something to note, the M4 for this generation is also cheaper than the M2 Pro upgraded from the previous generation too. So something to think about there. Here's the rest of the computer.